Bhante, can I request the three refuges and the eight virtues, please? Let's Thank you. Begin with Namo Tassa. Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhasa. Homage to the blessed teacher, the Arahant, the perfectly all awakened Buddha. Now the three refuges. Buddhang Saranang Gachami. Dhammang Saranang Gachami. Sanghang Saranang Gachami. I go to the Buddha as a refuge. I go to the Dhamma as a refuge. I go to the Sangha as a refuge. Dutiyam pi buddhang saranangga chami Dutiyam pi dhammang saranangga chami Dutiyam pi sanghang saranangga chami I go for a second time I go to the Buddha as a refuge For a second time I go to the Dhamma as a refuge and for a third time, a second time, I go to the Sangha as a refuge. Tatiyampi buddhang saranangga chami. Tatiyampi dhammang saranangga chami. Tatiyampi sanghang saranangga chami. For a third time, I go to the Buddha as a refuge. For a third time, I go to the Dhamma as a refuge. For a third time, I go to the Sangha as a refuge. And now the first five virtues. Panati pata veramani sikha padang samadhyami I undertake the practice to refrain from hurting living beings on purpose. Adina dana we ramani sikha padang samadhyami. I undertake the practice to refrain from taking what is not given. Kame sumi chachara we ramani sikha padang samadhyami. I undertake the practice to refrain from sexual misbehavior. Musa wada we ramani sikha padang samadhyami. I undertake the practice to refrain from false speech. Sura miraya madja pamadatana we ramani sikha padang samadhyami. I undertake the practice to refrain from mind altering substances. Now the following eight virtues, following three which make the eight. We kala bojana we ramani sikha padang samadhyami. I undertake the practice to refrain from eating at improper times. Natcha gita vadita visukha dhasana malagandha vilepana dharana mandana vibhusana tana vairamani sikha padang samadhyami. I undertake the practice to refrain from dancing, singing, listening to music, seeing entertainment shows. Wearing necklaces, perfumes, and beautifying the body with cosmetics. Ucha sayana maha sayana vairamani sikha padang samadhyami. I undertake the practice to refrain from high and luxurious beds and seats. Silena suga tingyanti silena bhoga sampada. Stilena ni bhutin yanti tasama sila visodaye. By virtue, a good life is obtained. By virtue, spiritual wealth comes to be. By virtue, one is unbinded. 
This virtue is to be perfected. Sad, sad, sad. Iti piso bhagava araham samma sambuddho Muija charana sampanno sugato lo kavidu Anuttaro puri sadhamma sarati Satha deva manusanam buddho bhagavati The exalted one is an arahant, perfectly all awakened Buddha, endowed with righteous knowledge and righteous conduct, auspicious knower of the worlds, unsurpassed guide for those who seek self-mastery, teacher of devas and human. Swakato bhagavata dhammo sanditti ko akaliko ehipasiko opanayiko pachatang varitabo vinyuhiti well explained is the Blessed One's teaching, directly visible, immediate, inviting, leading upwards, to be experienced by the wise for oneself. Supati panno bhagavato savaka sango Ujupati panno bhagavato savaka sango Nyaya pati panno bhagavato savaka sango Samichi pati panno bhagavato savaka sango Nyadirang chattari purisa yugani yatta purisa pugala Esa bhagavato savaka sango Ahuneyo pahuneyo dhakkineyo anjali karaniyo anutterang punye ke tanglo kasati. Good is the practice of the awakened one's sangha. Straight is the practice of the awakened one's sangha. Wise is the practice of the awakened one's sangha. Meaningful is the practice of the awakened one, Sangha. That is, the four pairs of people, the eight kinds of individuals. The Sangha of the awakened one is worthy of offering hospitality, generosity, and respect, an unsurpassed field of goodness for the universe. Now the Gathas from the Dhammapada. Mano pubhangam madhamma, mano sitta mano maya, manasa cha padutena, bhasativa karutiva, tatonang dukhang anweti, chakhang vahatu padang. Mind precedes all things, all are governed by the mind, created by the mind. If, with an unwholesome mind, a person speaks or acts, trouble follows along, as the wheel dragged by the foot. Mano pubhangamma dhamma mano sattha mano maya manasa cha pasanena bhasativa karotiva tatonang sukhang anweti chaya wa anapayini Mind precedes all things. All are governed by the mind, created by the mind. If with a wholesome mind a person speaks and acts, then happiness follows along like one's own shadow. Nahi virana virani samantida kudachanang avirana cha samanti Esa dhammo sanantano. Never is anger appeased by anger. Only by non anger is it appeased. This is a law eternal. 
ಈಧಾಮೋದತಿ ಪೈಚ್ಛಾಮೋದತಿ ಕಥಾಪುಣ್ಯೋ ಉಭಾಯತ್ಥಾಮೋದತಿ ಸೋಮೋದತಿ ಸೋಭಾಮೋದತಿ ದೀಸ್ವಾಗಮ್ಮ ವಿಸುಧಿಂಗ್ ಹತ್ತನೋ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ರಿಜೋಯ್ಸಸ್ ದ ಡೂವರ್ ಆಫ್ ಗುಡ್ ರಿಜೋಯ್ಸಸ್ ಇನ್ ಬೋತ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ರಿಜೋಯ್ಸಸ್ ಒನ್ ಡಿಲೈಟ್ಸ್ seeing the brightness of one's own actions punyante puriso kahira kahira te tang punnam punnang tamhi chandang kahira ta sukho pangnasa punyasa uchayo should a person do good deeds let one do it over and over again let one be wholly devoted to it for blissful is the accumulation of merit ma pamange ta punyassa namang tang agami satti udabindu ni patena udakumbo pipurati ಧೀರೋ ಪೂರತಿ ಪುಣ್ಯಸ್ಸ ತೋಕಂ ತೋಕಂ ಪಿ ಯಾಚಿನ ಡೂ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಗುಡ್ನೆಸ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ನೆವರ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಮೀ ವಿತ್ ಈಚ್ ಡ್ರಾಪ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ ದ ಜಾರ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಫಿಲ್ಡ್ ದ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಫಿಲ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ವಿಸ್ಡಮ್ ಗ್ಯಾದರಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಬೈ ಲಿಟಲ್ so apaduta sa narasa dusati sudassa posassa ananganassa tange wang balang pacchati papang sukumo rajo patiwa thangwakito whosoever should revile a blameless person a bright sage of spotless virtue that misguided person's wickedness turns back on them like fine dust thrown against the wind susukang vata jivama ye sang no nati kinchanam piti bhakkhang bhavi sama deva basarayatha surely we are living in bliss we who have nothing feeders on joy we shall be like the devas of streaming radiance directly visible nibbana The Brahmin Janu Soni went to the awakened one paid loving respects sat beside him and asked Dear Gautama I hear it said Nibbana is directly visible Nibbana is directly visible But how is it dear Gautama how is Nibbana directly visible immediate inviting leading upwards to be experienced by the wise for oneself Obse- obsessed by selfish desires brahman overpowered by wants and needs with a mind completely taken by it people cause problems for themselves cause problems to others and cause problems to everyone and they experience mental agony depression and anxiety but when people let go of selfish desires they do not cause cause problems for themselves they do not cause problems to others and they do not experience mental agony depression and anxiety this is how liberation or nibbana is directly visible 
obsessed by anger, Brahmin, overpowered by resentment, with a mind completely taken by it. People cause problems for themselves, cause problems to others, cause problems to everyone. And they experience mental agony, depression and anxiety. But when people let go of anger, they do not cause problems for themselves, they do not cause problems to others, and they do not experience mental agony, depression and anxiety. This is how Nibbana is directly visible. Obsessed by delusion, Brahmin, overpowered by folly, with a mind completely taken by it, People cause problems for themselves, cause problems to others, cause problems to everyone. And they experience mental agony here and now, depression and anxiety. But when people let go of delusion, they do not cause problems for themselves, they do not cause problems to others, and they do not experience mental agony, depression and anxiety. This is how Nibbana is directly visible. Brahman, when one experiences the complete disappearance of selfish desires, the complete disappearance of anger, and the complete disappearance of folly, this is another way how Nibbana is directly visible, immediate, inviting, leading upwards, to be experienced by the wise for oneself. Excellent, dear Gotama, excellent. Just as if what had fallen over been set upright, or as what had been hidden was uncovered, or as if the way was shown to someone who was lost, or if the light, or if light was shown in the darkness thinking, let those with vision see. In the same way, Bhante, the Awakened One has brought forth and elucidated the Dhamma in countless ways. Bhante, Bhante, I go to the Awakened One as a refuge, to the Dhamma and the Bhikkhu Sangha. May the Awakened One count me as a lay follower from now on, who has gone for refuge for life. And the last brief sutta this morning on the highest kind of generosity and the highest kind of merit that we can do. Once the beloved teacher lived in Sawati, in Prince Jetta's grove at Anathapindika's monastery. At that time, the follower Anathapindika went to the Buddha paid loving respects and seated himself before him. Then the teacher asked, Are alms given in your family, Anatta Pindika? My family offer, offers alms, Bhante, but theirs comprises of inferior quality rice crushings mixed with bran alongside with sour gruel. This was considered to be the food of the poor at that time. Anatta Pindika, whether the offering is rudimentary or excellent, those who offer carelessly, without respect, not from their own hand, what is, not, what is to be thrown away, not realizing that something good will come out of their action, whenever the result of their offering revolves back to them, their minds do not enjoy, do not rejoice even when they receive the best of food, the best of clothes, the best of transports, the best of the five senses with their objects. Their sons and daughters, wives and husbands, are and helpers, attendants and workers, will not pay attention, will not listen to what one says, 
nor will they attend with a caring mind. Why? Because this is the result of actions done carelessly. Now whether the offering is rudimentary or excellent, those who offer thoughtfully, respectfully, from their own hand, what is not to be thrown away, realizing that something good will come out of their action, whenever the result of their offering revolves back to them, their minds rejoice when they receive the best of food, the best of clothes, the best of transports, and the best of the five senses and their objects. Their sons and daughters, wives or husbands, and helpers and attendants and workers will pay proper attention. They will listen to what one has to say, and they will attend with a caring mind. Why? Because this is the result of actions done thoughtfully. In the past, Anatta Pindika lived a Brahmin named Velama, and on one occasion he carried out such an offering, an extraordinary act of generosity. He offered 84,000 golden bowls filled with silver coins, 84,000 silver bowls filled with golden coins. 84,000 browns bowls filled with gold nuggets, 84,000 elephants with golden adornments, golden flags, covered over with golden nettings, 84,000 carriages covered in lion skin, tiger skin, leopard skin, delicate saffron fabric, with golden trinkets, golden flags, covered over with golden mesh. 84,000 cows dressed in silk outfits and bronze milk pails, milking pails. 84,000 couches covered with deep, deep hair fur carpets, white wool covering, woven coverlets, Kadali deer spreads, with sunshade canopies and crimson cushions on either side. 84,000 measures of the finest fabrics, the finest linen, the finest silk, the finest wool, the finest cotton. And what to mention of food and drinks, chewables, eatables, lickables and drinkables, they seem to flow like rivers. One might think that Velama is a myth, or someone unrelated, but it, but it is not how it should be understood, Anatta Pindika. At that time, I was the Brahmin Velama. It was me who, uh, who made this extraordinary offering. But Anatta Pindika, there was nobody truly worthy of an offering. Nobody that could purify the gift. Even if the Brahmin Velama had only fed a single person graced by wise understanding, it would have been much more beneficial. Much more beneficial than feeding a hundred people attained to Dhamma vision, it would be to feed a single once returner much more beneficial than feeding a hundred once returners. It would be to feed but a single non-returner. Much more beneficial than feeding a hundred non-returner. It would be to feed but a single arahant. Much more beneficial than feeding a hundred non-returners it would be to feed but a single silent Buddha. Much more beneficial than feeding a hundred silent Buddhas, it would be to feed the truth finder, the Arahant, perfectly all-awakened Buddha. Much more beneficial than feeding the all-awakened Buddha, it would be 
to feed the, the Sangha of monks headed by the Buddha. Much more beneficial than feeding the Sangha of monks headed by the Buddha, it would be to build a vihara, a monastery dedicated to the Sangha of the Four Quarters. Much more beneficial than this it would be, and this is when it starts to be interesting, to simply go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha with a confident and understanding mind. Much more beneficial than to go for refuge to the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha with a confident mind, it would be to undertake the training in virtue with a confident mind, that is, refraining from hurting living beings, refraining from taking what is not given, refraining from sexual misbehavior, refraining from speaking lies, and refraining from mind-altering substances. Much more beneficial than to undertake the training in virtue with a confident mind, it would be to develop a heart and mind of boundless love, even just for the time it takes to notice a passing scent. And thus, Anatta Pindika, much more valuable than all of these things it would be to cultivate the understanding of impermanence through letting go, even just for the time of a finger snap. On these beautiful words, I wish you a wonderful meditation, very successful meditation. Continue smiling. And I will see you on interviews or along the day somewhere. <laughs>